Now, I will still invite them to stay on stage because I would like now to uh, address a few words to all of you, my reflection of what happened here today. So I was so happy with your enthusiasm when I asked if you were happy and awake. But I'm really very happy. I'm very happy for two reasons. First, this is the first conference of this kind, and it's the first conference that happens when I joined Digit as a Deputy Director General. So I'm really, really fascinated for having met so many of you and by seeing really a fantastic conference here. A conference that was, in my view, fruitful, constructive, educative, and that really creates what I hope to be a momentum that is able to project itself into the future. We actually went through a lot, a lot of it interesting points, all of them touching different aspects of what can be understood as being the modernization of public administration through the sharing and reuse of IT solutions. Now, I'm personally very, very, very convinced that collectively we have acquired a better understanding of where we are right now and that we are in a better position to understand where we want to be in some time from now. Specifically in this idea that, in fact, sharing and reuse should be something that is common sense, something that we apply by default. And this is particularly important when we talk about public administrations. Sometimes when we talk about market solutions, the companies do itself because they have an almighty aim of making money out of it. But in the public domain, in public administrations, we need to apply the same logic. So like uh, Nicholas already said, you know, um, the example of all, the, um, of all what we uh, were speaking, all the narrative that we were putting in different fora about the trend that we see emerging on sharing and reuse practice, I think that has been largely overtaken, demonstrated by the enthusiasm and by the confirmation that we can see precisely on the plethora of solutions that have been submitted by the member states, by the regional authorities, by the local authorities to the awards that we are going to have in a moment from now. That has been a cultural shift that the Commission has been advocating. But actually, like Constantino said, well, it's happening in practice. It's happening today. And we are just glad that we are somehow formalizing through the documentation that actually is the result of what we listen from you. We are sort of formalizing the process of sharing and reuse also with the facet of the European Interoperability Framework. And it's very fascinating what we see happening in the member states. I had the opportunity to read most of the, uh, uh, of the examples that we, are, that we are going to award today. And the diversity, the different perspective, the way that they, 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 they attach themselves to a business demand, the amount of money that they did or not invest, all of that varies so much that in fact I can simply say that sharing and reuse is just now, to a very large extent, a common practice. And if people see the benefit of sharing and reuse rather than building new things from scratch, then we are achieving our major result. But we cannot stay like uh, we are right now. We need to go much further. Some of you already alluded this notion that we keep together, that we have this virtual community, this community of practice, that we focus in very particular things, in very demanding but important things for either the public administration itself or the citizens. That is, the, that is in fact, the focal point of all our activities and, 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 and objectives. So let me say two or three things that, independent of what has been said, are also very close to me. And I like to I like exactly this creation, the nurturing, and the extending of this community of practice. We are a lot of people. We are all motivated. We need to be more. We need to be more if efficient. And we need to work together by different means. So we really need to extend and nurture this community of practice. 
Now, we are doing it also through the uh, JoinNet platform that has been part of the ISA program, and we have been creating this community of practice, but we really need to move it in practice much stronger, much effective. The second aspect is this idea that we can have at our disposal a federated repository of solutions, of available IT solutions. And by the way, the 17 that are winning the award in a moment, they should be there, they will be put there because they are best practices for all of us. But apart from those, we have right now in the order of uh, 2,500 available solutions. That's good. That's really cool. And uh, we have around 4,000 downloads every month. That's really cool, except that we have to go further. And the next time we meet, those figures have to be different and much higher. So that's a big challenge in all of us. Now, the third aspect that I want to reflect is that, in fact, to go further, we need to preserve this nucleus of the interoperability aspects. And that's where the European Interoperability Framework that was just approved last week as a communication of the European Commission, reflecting the discussions, the work that has been done with the member states, with all of you, probably a lot of other people that is not here today. Well, that interoperability framework is at the core of our solutions. Because obviously for them to be, um, to be interoperable, it's good that we follow this as we call it, constitutional charter that the EIF is for all of us. A kind of a methodology that would allow us not just to influence, to impact in the national interoperability frameworks, but also in the domain-specific ones, and I rejoin the point that was made by some colleagues here, to say, let's go concrete in some particular areas. So you see European interoperability fr framework, national one, domain-specific one, guiding principles, when we apply them, we get, by definition, our solutions more interoperable. And last but not least, I want to come back to the point of this event today. Great, great, great event. Allow me a bit of proudness, because apart from being a commission official, I'm also Portuguese, and so I'm very proud that this first event occurred in Lisbon, and that on top of that, we had beautiful weather, but this is just for later and not for now. But this event should mark an important milestone. It's the one, like you said, where we got together more than 200 people. Look also the people that followed us, or that can see parts of this video, or the video recorded, part of this conference, it marks a beginning of something. Tomorrow has to be different from today, because today this conference existed. And Matthias, you made that clear. You want this community of practice to extend from the physical place that was so important for the innovation to occur, like Sabi said, to become a continuous group that works together and that makes really something out of the interoperability framework, of the share and reuse, essentially that make all of us, public administrations, more effective. We are committed that this event will not be one only event. We want to carry it again. Let us know the level of periodicity that you want this to happen. Let, give us ideas about what you want to see in this event, and we will repeat it, because it was very, very, very successful. So for me, it's like saying that sharing in reuse SR Conf 17 in Lisbon is actually the concrete realization that the paradigm shift between creating new solutions or sharing and using current developed solutions is occurring in practice in Europe. Now, let's not remain on the IT perspective. Some of us are IT specialists. Some of us are fascinated by 
the IT impact on other things. But essentially what we're talking here is about business alignment, business simplification, business standardization, and understanding what the constituency that we are serving wants us to do. Solutions are good when they address a particularly important requirement from the community that we are trying to advise, to, to serve. During the day, three messages I think that I all retain, and they are very simple. Share and reuse is a good receipt for digital transformation. Sharing and reuse requires a cultural change. Sharing and reuse is common sense. And those three things, I'll keep them in my mind because they are so simple but so important to all of us. Now, I don't think that is for me to summarize more the conclusions of this event because our rapporteurs have done this in a remarkable way. So basically, before we go into the award ceremony, I would like now to dedicate a few words. First, to thank all of you for your participation. I hope that you have enjoyed the day at least half of what I enjoyed, because then you would be already very happy with that. I'm looking, really, I'm really looking forward to meet you. I, I used to know other communities, and I'm so glad when I meet people again. So I want to see you again, guys. Do you know when? First opportunity? Zabi, I think, mentioned the aspects of semantics, so important. What does the data mean? What are we talking about? Well, during the Maltese presidency, in June, we have the SEMIC conference, the SEMIC 2017 conference. I want you to be, no, I cannot say that I want you to be there. I want you to consider at least if it is not important for you to be there. It will be very rewarding for us to see that you join the crowd and that you follow from the sharing and reuse, that you reflect more on the semantics aspects, that you, ref that you reflect together with us on all the other aspects of interoperability framework that are so important for us. I hope that Malta gives us the opportunity to have a second milestone this year, a second important event for the public administrations together to reflect on their mission and the way they are delivering it. SEMIC will be essentially around data and information management. And I tell you, if you find that some of the presentations today were in inspirational, there we will have a lot of inspirational talks and presentations, and we'll have a lot of forward-looking data and information management initiatives shared amongst all of us. There is no doubt about the importance of data and information. It becomes probably the currency of today, the business of the future, the industry that will generate more revenues in the future. And we collectively, we public authorities, we generate, we manage, we curate, we use, and we have to make sense of the data that we hold in our repositories is a must. I cannot put it very succinct, more succinct than saying data is mission critical for all the public administrations. Therefore, the governance aspects, the new technological solutions that will emerge, our ability again to share and reuse solutions will be key for us to succeed collectively. Remember, none of us will succeed individually surrounded by failure of the others. We have to achieve success together. So guys, I hope that we will be continuing cooperating together. The services of the Commission, DIGIT, 
where I have my significant responsibilities, but DigiGrow, other departments of the Commission, like DigiConnect and others, will be at your service. Make sure that we deliver the services that we believe that you need. And by bringing together efforts, we'll collectively succeed. So for today, I would like to thank all the speakers. I'd like to thank the rapporteurs. I would like to give a big, 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 big thanks to the organizing people that is there in the back, to all the people that helped to conceptualize this conference, to put it in practice, be them my colleagues in the commission, be them people contracted to do so, be them the animators, the voice of, the people that locally organize that, all of them deserve really our big appreciation because this event was really, really, really good. Thanks to all of you.